Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and we're out here in this Arctic freeze today. We're out at the range. It's about uh, somewhere between probably 10 and 16 degrees. I've brought my Remington 870, the one I put the new Magpul stock on in the last video. And uh, we're going to zero this primary arms micro dot and uh, just see how comfortable it is with this one spacer and, and just see how much I like it better than uh, the other stock that was on here that I thought was a uh, complete piece of garbage. So stick around and uh, let's put some rounds down range. Third round, third adjustment. All right, fourth round down range. Adjusted uh, the micro dot again. Let's see where we end up. We're going to aim for center mass of the silhouette. All right, fifth shot, fourth adjustment, I believe. Here we go. Shootability on that is much better than what it was with the previous stock, that's for sure. All right, slugs, 25 yards. Here we go. Be right back, we gotta pick the target up. All right, here we go again. Well, that didn't work out too well, no, did it? Our, uh, our sight flew off the shotgun. All right, so my other camera has totally taken a shit and refuses to work in this uh, 10 degree weather. So that would be my Nikon has totally called it a day. So here we go. We'll get some uh, silhouette shots. We're back to uh, iron sights now. Here we go. So I think as far as that works at. We got some more slugs. We're going to continue to shoot. So uh, here we go. Knock the plate off again. All right, we'll just continue to shoot. Much more pleasant to shoot. All right, five more rounds of buckshot. Here we go. I tell you what, I should have put this on years ago, that's for sure. Big difference in handling. The gun's empty. I just wanted to show you it's starting to freeze over. I'm starting to get some ice built up on the uh, on the gun here. But uh, big difference. All the difference in the world, actually. I know I'm late to the game on this Magpul stock, but the ergonomics on this is fantastic. Just the grip you get is, is really natural. And it's uh, the recoil. Nothing at all. That was buckshot. I've shot slugs. Very nice. All right, everything we've shot so far today has been high brass. So I've got five uh, high brass turkey loads in here. So let's uh, let's see how that works out. Shit. I 
tell you what, I felt those turkey loads more than I did the buckshot. Everything was high brass. Those are beasts. Holy mackerel. Those are something else. Let's do some more uh, buckshot. All right, well, let's work on another view here. We've got uh, five more buckshot. Here we go. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Lots of fun. Definite. Definitely going to upgrade this fore end here with the Magpul furniture. But uh, this thing's a pleasure to shoot now. Really a disappointment that I haven't shot it more. All right. Six more buck shot. Here we go. All right, so this will be our final series. Here we go. We've got a mix of uh, slug and buckshot. Huh. We have a malfunction. We have a malfunction. Let's go ahead. Put it on safe. Let's see what the hell's going on here. Huh. Wow. Alright, what I've got is I've got a malfunction where my fore end won't come back in my release seems to be frozen in place. So we're going to point this up and down range in a safe direction and see if we can get something to go on that. Alright, so far we've lost one camera and now the shotgun's down. She is down. Let's uh, maybe we can pull the trigger. Nothing. I have a dead trigger. And I have no movement here whatsoever. I know I've got rounds in the magazine. Uh, it's kind of perplexing here. I have a dead gun with live ammo. Definitely not a good combination, that's for sure. Gun is pointed in a safe direction. Wow. I don't know, I'll be right back. Well, the sad thing is. We haven't had this gun out in quite a while, and we've managed to kill it. Ah, it is not cooperating at all. What a shame. Well, the only thing I can think of is uh, we're going to have to disassemble the weapon. We'll be right back. All right, we don't have much time left. Because now my battery's about to die on here. So what I had was, believe it or not, I actually had some ice buildup that was keeping my end from charging all the way back. So I had to disassemble the weapon and clear that 
And uh, I guess I, what happened was I, when I laid it on the table before we started shooting, I laid it in the snow. And I think uh, the snow to the metal, as it did here on this part of the shotgun, froze up and it uh, definitely created some problems. So we're going to do a couple shots here real quick to make sure we're good to go. And uh, I don't know, we'll see if the, uh, the memory card lasts. There you go. We are almost out of time. So, hey, this is Toe2 Bravo. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely learned a lot about this shotgun and placing it down in the snow. I definitely created a malfunction for myself. Uh, I managed to blow my sight off the top of the weapon. Didn't uh, hold very well. And, but other than that, uh, I enjoyed the stock. We're going to have to revisit this again in the snow. Maybe uh, lube it up a little more. All right, this is Toe2 Bravo, and we're going to do a quick after action review here um, as you saw in the video uh, the battery ran out on the camera due to the cold I definitely uh, had Murphy uh, kicking my my butt out there a little bit today I lost uh, both cameras and um, had a malfunction uh, that was caused by excessive ice buildup <laughs> within uh, the shotgun here and that was my fault because I laid it down in the snow and the snow turned to ice uh, and uh, eventually caused a malfunction with the shotgun, which uh, I caught on video. And uh, the optic flew off. So um, a very, uh, very eventful range uh, trip. But uh, <clears throat> once I figured out what was going on with the malfunction, I didn't feel so badly about, uh, I, I thought maybe something had broken, but uh, fortunately it had not. Um, I just need to be a little more careful where I uh, lay the rifle or where I lay the shotgun next time. Uh, but overall, it was a lot of fun shooting the steel with the uh, with the buckshot and the slugs and the turkey loads. That was a blast. As you can see, we've we've peppered the hell out of the, uh, the silhouette here. So uh, didn't get a chance to wrap up the video out on the range. So we're doing it here. Overall, the experience with the butt stock was fantastic. It's a shame I've waited so long to do it. Um, I do want to get this out. I want to clean this. I want to lube it a little bit and then I want to get it out to the range again and do some more shooting. I think I'm just going to leave it uh, simple with uh, the bead front sight. I'm not going to add anything else to it. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, I don't, I, that, was a, that was a bad decision. So overall I had a good time. It was a blast and the stock made all the difference in the world. So this is Toto 2 Bravo. I appreciate you watching until I see you out at the range again.